In this video, we're going to continue on working with tables just a little bit, and I'm going to add two new attributes to the tables, call span and row span. I'm going to start by talking about call span. So just as a reminder, we're going to be using the same table that we built in the last video. And I want to show you what that looked like. Launch in Firefox, and this is what it looks like. We've got two rows, and in each row we have a cell. We have two cells in each row. So it's a four by or a two by two table. Okay. Now I want to add one more row. Copy. Paste. And now I am going to try and make the top the top row. I want to have only one cell that stretches the entire width of the table, okay? And I do this by using something called call span. Let's look at what call span looks like. So, C O L S P A N equals, it's an attribute, so it's always equals quotation marks and then some sort of value. I'm going to have it span across two columns. So I'll put in the value of 2. All right? Now, if we look at this word, call span, it's made up of two parts, call and span. Call comes from the word column. A column is a vertical alignment of information in a table. So columns go up, down, okay? Rows go side by side. Rows are horizontal, columns are vertical. So if we wanted to span across columns, it creates a span across two columns. It spans sideways. Now, what does the word span mean? Span is the second part of call span. Span is, we often talk about span when, when we talk about things like bridges or crossing a river. Sometimes even a bridge is called a span. When we span, we stretch across or lay across something, okay? When we span a river with a bridge, a bridge is going across the river and is stretched across that river to get from one side to the other. So a call span works kind of like a bridge across columns. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to launch it in Firefox and it's a little bit funny. We've got, it's, it's acting really funny here. And this is the way it should act. This is one cell right here that goes from the beginning of cell one all the way over to the edge of the table and then cell two is pushed out. I'm just going to add something Now I'm going to tell you right now this is kind of bad form. This is a deprecated attribute. Deprecated means it's not being used anymore because there are better ways of doing it. We're going to deal with border and stuff like that later on when we get to um, CSS with tables but for now I'm just going to show you what it looks like and then I'm going to add a background color here too. Don't worry about using these two attributes. Um, I'm going to choose a different color. Once again, border and BG color are attributes that we're not really going to use in this class. They're deprecated. In other words, they're old. They're not being used anymore in, in contemporary web design. Both of these things are done with CSS. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a future lesson. But for now, just so you can see the way the table behaves, I'm putting it in there without doing the CSS. So I'll refresh it. And you can see the borders of each cell, and you can see the background color. So cell, the, the first cell here takes up the entire width of the table, and it shoves the other cell over. So what we need to do is delete that second cell, because that first cell is taking up the entire row. So the only thing we should have in that row is that one cell. So that looks right. This is how it should look. We've got one cell that spans across the two cells. So we would use this for kind of like a table heading. OK. The table heading would stretch across the entire table. Now I want to go to row span. Row span 
You put it in any TD that you want. Row span equals, and then a value. I'm going to have it span across two. Row span spans across rows. So rows are horizontal. That's a row. If we want to span across rows, that means we're spanning downward because we're crossing over rows. Okay. So row span goes up and down. Call span goes side to side. And if I span across two, save it, refresh. You see, things got pushed around again. What it did is it spans downwards and then pushes cells out of the way. So to get the table to look right, I have to delete a cell from this bottom row, okay? Because that's where something is getting pushed out. So I'll delete one from here and things should snap back into place. Okay? Good. So that's row span and call span. I'm going to be giving you a simple assignment on spans, okay? You're going to be required to make a special looking little table using call span and row span. It shouldn't take very long, shouldn't take too much problem solving.